Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the layers, to layers tool and the background tool on Chrome Canvas as well as what we are doing for this week's art assignment. So I'm going to click new drawing because we're going to start a whole new artwork this week. Okay, so we've already gone over these tools over here. These are our different drawing tools, our eraser tool. Remember we can change the size of our tools and the opacity or how see-through our tools are, as well as the color of our tools. So we've already went over that last week for last week's lesson. We also learned about these two buttons up here, the undo and redo buttons, if you make a mistake. And we also talked about how to save our artwork to our computer and upload it to Seesaw. But we haven't yet learned about the layers tool or the background tool. If you click this button here, these two little squares on top of each other, this box pops up and it says layers. Let's go down to the bottom here. If I click on that little bucket, it brings me to this color palette where I can select any color I want for my background. I could also go over to custom and select a color and customize it. I like this color here. So after you've chosen a background, then you can start drawing. And I want to show you how to use the layers tools with drawing. So right now I'm just going to draw a simple shape. Just, oop, I'm just going to draw a heart. Yeah, it's not perfect. Just an example here. Okay, so I have my heart drawn. Now I could start coloring my, col my heart in, let's see, let's go to the palette. Whoop. I could start coloring my heart in this beautiful pink up the sides of my tool there, but I would have to be really, 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 really careful. I would have to be very careful not to go over, oh no, not to go over my black lines. Ah! It looks like I'm going over my black lines, boys and girls. So my artwork eh, doesn't look as nice as it should. I really want that black outline to stay there. Okay, so we could always use our eraser tool, right? So let's just erase this pink. Oh no! It looks like I'm erasing my black line and that pink color on the heart. So, I am going to show you a trick that we can use to color things in without going over the outline and without erasing both our outline and our colors. If we go to the layers tool and click that plus sign, this adds a layer to my artwork. Watch this. Now that I'm working in this layer here, if I go over my black outline, I can always go in with my eraser and just erase wherever I go over that black outline. So you can see now I'm just erasing the pink and I'm not erasing my black. That's because I'm working on this layer here. Now, if I was to click on this layer, I'm erasing my black, okay? So we don't wanna do that. Another way to color this heart in would be to just drag this black outline of my heart up here. So now this black outline layer is on top and I wanna click this layer here. So now I'm working in the second layer and it's below or underneath my black layer. Now with my tool, I'm going to up the size. Now I can carefully color this in and you can see that if I go outside of my lines, that's okay because it goes underneath my black outline. Okay. So now it still kind of looks kind of wonky, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do with my eraser tool, I'm still working on the same layer here. I'm just going to clean up my edges. So you can see that I'm going in here, my eraser tool. Oops. 
just like that. So this is a really helpful tool for, this layer tool is very helpful for being able to um, color something in without having to be very careful about going over your outline, okay? So boys and girls, I just wanna show you one more thing. If we click this little eyeball, it makes each layer go away. So if I didn't wanna see my black outline anymore, I could just click that eyeball and it wouldn't be in my picture. Same thing here. Same thing with my background. That little eyeball, if we click it, it takes whatever part that we're working with away. I just wanna show you one more thing. If I add another layer, let's say that I want to add a star to my artwork. Hmm, but I don't really like where that star is. Hmm. What I can do, and I'll show you again, is I click these four little arrows here. Now I can move this part of my artwork. I can make it smaller. I can even rotate it to wherever I want it to be. Okay, so again, that's clicking on those four little arrows and changing it how you want it to be. You could also do the same thing with the different parts in your artwork. You could change each layer and move them around. Okay, boys and girls, so what we're going to be doing this week with these tools is we are going to draw a picture of our favorite food. This is a pretty simple assignment, but I just want you to get used to using the layers tools. So what you're going to do is make sure that you choose a background color for your artwork. Then use the drawing tools. Remember, you can adjust your size, adjust your tools, and draw an outline of your favorite food. I really love vegetables, so I'm going to draw a carrot. And I'm using my pen tool to draw my carrot, and I'm using a black outline so that I can really see my artwork, so that it's nice and bold and has some contrast here. So there's the shape of my carrot. Now I also want to add some of these really little leaves here. Carrots have these really lace-like leaves. Just going to do my best to draw these. Remember if I make a mistake, I always have the eraser tool or the undo redo buttons. Okay, I'm also going to add some more details. Remember, adding details to your artwork can really help with the craftsmanship of your artwork. That means how much effort it looks like you put into your work. We want good craftsmanship. We want to make it look like our artworks are professionally done. Okay, so I added some detail there. You can see this is my black outline of my food. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your layers tool and add a layer. Now that you have another layer, drag it beneath your black outline so that your layer that you're working on now is underneath that black drawing, okay? So I have my black outline up here and I'm working on this layer. Now I'm going to start coloring my carrot in. I'm going to go with a custom color, something a little more orange, like that. Now remember, because I'm working on the layer underneath my black outline layer, I can carefully color this in. I should have made the tool a little smaller down there, but that's okay. And if I accidentally go out of my lines, like right here, when I'm done, I can always go back in with my eraser tool. So you can see I colored in my carrot orange, but remember, we want good craftsmanship, right? So I'm going to go in with my eraser tool and clean everything up a little bit. We want everything to look really professional, especially since we have all of these undo, redo tools. We have the tools to make awesome artwork, so let's use them. Okay, now that I cleaned up that, it's time to color in the green part of my food here, my carrot top. So I'm going to go to my layers again. I'm going to 
click the plus sign one more time. I'm going to make sure that I drag this so that it's underneath my black outline. Make sure I'm working on this layer so you can just click it. And then I'm going to go in, choose a nice green color. And I'm going to color in the tops of my carrot. Once again, you can see I have some cleanup to do here. So I'm going to use my eraser tool again because remember, we want to make our artwork look really nice. If we're putting in the work, we may as well go all the way here. And I'm just cleaning up my edges. We want to make this look professional. We have the tools, friends. Oops! So now you can see that I'm getting a little clumsy with my eraser. I can also zoom in, that might make it a little bit easier on me, on myself here, so that I can see what I'm doing. Changing the size of my eraser tool to get right in there and clean up my edges. Also a little hard to see against this background. That's okay. So now you can see though, I have some areas here where I need to go back in. So using my tools, adjusting my size, I'm going to finish adding my color where I accidentally erased it. Okay, that's your art assignment this week, boys and girls. Do what I just showed you, except do it with your favorite food. Remember, you want a background on your artwork. Choose a background color using this. Draw the black outline of your favorite food. Add layers and color your favorite food in using those layers. It's really important that we get used to using these layer tools because for our upcoming art assignment, we're going to be using these layer tools again. So this art assignment is all about your experience and your practice with these tools. Remember when you're done with your artwork and once you've cleaned up all of your edges, and it looks complete, you're going to go to those three dots, click Save as Image, and your artwork should download here. And then when you go to Seesaw, you're going to upload your picture by clicking the camera button, clicking the little upload cloud. Let's see. Aha, here it is. Downloaded three times, it looks like and then you're going to click open. Now your computer might look a little different than mine, that's okay. I hope you can figure out how to get everything uploaded and let me know if you have any questions. All right, boys and girls, that's it for me. I hope that this video helps you understand how to use those layer tools. I hope you understand your art assignment. Please let me know if you have any questions and you can always return to this video if you need help or you can ask me. Have fun.